So, as you can tell, probably by the title, it's a small one this time. Yes, I decided to actually get a smaller pumpkin for this sh- Come on. Here we are again for another round of pumpkin carving. As you can tell, there is no, um, <laughs> cover, well, you know, table cover on this. The reason why is because of something called wind. And I tried putting on a cloth on, a table cover on, and all it was doing was flapping in the breeze, and it was just too distracting. It was very distracting, and it's just like, people are going to be more focused on this. As you probably can tell, there is wind. I don't know if you heard that. Hopefully this is not going to cause any issue with me during this video. Hey. But... It just kept flapping and flapping, and I'm like, I tried to tape it down, it still was doing it. I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it without the cover on. So hopefully I don't break this damn table. I take, it, take good care of this table, right? That's all that matters. Fuck off with your stupid fucking car horn. Thank you. So anyways, let's... Really, ice cream truck? Mr. Softy, I love your ice cream, but Jesus Christ, not, this is not the time! <laughs> yeah. Okay, this thing's gotta go. Because all it's gonna do is just be a distraction. Maybe I should get a better knife. Oh, shush. Shut up, you ice cream truck. Shut up. This is not the time for the music to start playing. The, the ice cream truck what, just literally went down the street. Now it's back over here. Who the fuck wants ice cream this late in the year in October? Still, this is gonna be a bitch. <laughs> I can tell this is gonna be a pain in the ass when I try to record out the eyes. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now we gotta think of a name for this pump poor little pumpkin here. This who's gotta deal with this unfortunate setbacks here. Wind, an ice cream truck, and horrible and it's a really stiff motherfucker so what do we name this what are we gonna name this pumpkin huh hmm how about Adriana <laughs> I know I know how weird right name a pumpkin after your girlfriend that is not weird I'm pretty sure some people have done that already <clears throat> I'm pretty sure some people have done that shit whether they want to admit it or not. So, yeah. Adriana is the name for the pumpkin this year. She actually wanted me to keep... Stay on the phone with her while I do this. <laughs> and she was like, hey, um, I'll be like... Whenever you're trying to carve the pumpkin... You're stabbing the pumpkin, I'll go, ah! And I'm like, no. This is the reason. Because I didn't want to... I want to surprise her with the name revealed to being after her. You know? I'm trying so hard not to fucking break the knife at the same time, so... Oh, God. Man, the ice cream truck does not fucking help either! That ice cream truck does not fucking help. You're not helping, ice cream truck. You're not helping. You're making the situation worse than it is. I don't want it to cut too deep, too far down because I want to have enough room to, you know, carve the, uh, the eyes and, you know, everything else, you know? I swear, I'm gonna go fi find you and I'm gonna kill you. 
I'm gonna go chase that ice cream truck down the street and I'm gonna just destroy it. Not really. Don't take that seriously. But this is fucking too important to me and I don't want any fucking setbacks. I got the wind. The wind was enough. I don't need any more. This pumpkin's such a bitch. Like, to cut, to cu open up. It's stiff as all hell. This is really annoying to me. I can't believe I'm having a difficult time trying to do this. Oh, I could just, you know, <laughs> I could just use this to really kind of like, you know, smooth it out and stuff. Mark, I don't think he did anything that year in 2018. But I know as hell he did something the day before Halloween in 2019 with Heist. I remember <laughs> somebody asked him, like, is Dark Empire going to be in the heist? and Or is Dark going to be on, going to appear on Halloween? And Mark said no. But then a heist and Mark Empire comes out, and then there's Dark. And then <laughs> the person who asked said, hey, and I said if he would be appearing on Halloween, <laughs> you said he wouldn't appear. And then Mark responds, you said Halloween. <laughs> I found that pretty funny. So, there's that. What are you barking at? I have to deal with that. Deal with that dog well, the very first year. Shut up, you fucking dog. It's all scraped out and everything. Looks beautiful. Looks nice. Beautiful. Smoking hot as my girlfriend has is. Shut the fuck up. Alrighty. Since we're done now, uh, I gotta now clean up this freaking you know, table. Stuff like that. Gotta clean up the table and stuff like that, so it's gonna be. Like, I had to clean this table before I even started doing this because it was dirty. It was dirty. Covered in, you know, a lot of dust and dirt. So I had to do a lot of the cleaning earlier and stuff like that. And I had to, like, you know, reorganize a bunch of things. So it wasn't fun. Not fun at all. It was not fun at all. So I gotta start cleaning this, you know, table up and stuff, so hopefully this video isn't much of a train wreck as it is already. Hopefully this video isn't a train wreck as if it's not already. So yeah, now comes the trickier part. <sighs> I honestly did not expect it to be that much more difficult to, you know, open, like, you know, try to, you know, carve the inside of it, like, you know, trying to get the top off like you, the previous years was a lot easier maybe it's because it was a, a bigger pumpkin maybe that's why but it was a bitch though fucking and i swear i felt like the knife was gonna fucking break there were times where i thought the knife was gonna break like i really thought that which is really dumb of me to think but then again sometimes that could happen but maybe the reason why is because of how big, you know, thick the, you know, the inside of it, it was. So I don't know if it's going to be any, you know, easier this time. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so, there's that. What the heck was that flash? Man, those pigeons are just having, not having a good day, aren't they? They are really, you know, chasing each other. Good God. But anyways, that's a wrap on this part of this video. So hopefully it isn't that much of a train wreck because of the wind. The wind seemed to die down a tiny bit, but it was still annoying at times. So but yeah, who knows what it's gonna be like. Now I gotta clean this stupid table. Now I gotta clean this stupid ass table. So uh yeah. 
Awesome. Very awesome. You wanna just do the same fucking design as before? Oh, you say. Let's try that. Let's try to do like a design, the same design, but smaller. Try to, you know, translate that on a smaller pumpkin, which is gonna be a bitch. Not the strongest guy. I advise you not to get a small pumpkin. If you're gonna carve a pumpkin, carve a big one. Believe me, you're not. You don't want to do a small pumpkin. <clears throat> my arm, okay. My shoulder's really hurting. Because I'm using all the muscles in my shoulder to push. Because I'm using my holding on to, with my left hand, my left arm to push in. I'm sweating already. I can feel it. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. Why did I buy a small pumpkin? I'm really gonna feel this tomorrow. I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. I'm gonna feel this pain tomorrow morning, that is for damn sure. I swear, I'm probably gonna have to take a fucking 30 minute break before I do the fucking mouth. Oh my god, this is fucking annoying. But we're almost there. We're almost there, we just gotta go up. We got this one little part left. Alrighty, what a fucking train wreck this was. I don't know if anybody's gonna like this video, and I think Adriana's just gonna be upset with me that I did this to her. Speaking of Adriana, she's actually calling me. Anyways, you're part of the uh, behind the scenes video for the pumpkin carving. Wait, what did you say? Um, you're a part of the behind the scenes part of the pumpkin carving video when I wow. put this out. When I'm gonna put this out because I'm filming it right now. That's how. <laughs> Wait, you're filming it right now? No, I filmed the all of it, but now it's like the behind the scenes part. Are you filming right now? Yes. Fucker. Don't I don't condone what she said, <laughs> guys. She's a weird one, but she's my weird one. <laughs> We're all weird. But just okay, say just hi, whatever. Just do the good part, so. Just, okay. just, you know, say hi, and you know. I love you. I love you, babe. I love you. <laughs> hi, James's YouTube fans, <laughs> people. <laughs> She's what? a shy one. Don't mind her. Anyways, that's a wrap on the pumpkin carving segment. Now comes the Xander segment. That's a wrap. Well, hello there. <laughs> yes, Xander has finally returned. Why don't we get... Okay, I'm looking not this way. I'm, look I'm supposed to look at the glass. Immediately, I fuck it up. <laughs> I'm a horrible actor. Why don't we get to know each other? It won't take long. I'm sure you're a bit of a chatterbox. Anyways. Hello, I am Scary. I am Scary Zanda. <laughs> I am scary. <laughs> what am I doing? Anyways, again, I do not know how people are going to react to Xander's new outfit here in this, you know, video. It's me experimenting mostly, but also I can, you know, say, oh, this takes place far in the future in his, you know, story, you know? So I have no idea. Like, I felt like, you know, using the Paisley shirt more for j instead of just cosplaying, I wanted to use it more for more than that, you know? 
Some may say that life is for the living. But what happens when you can't live that life? You get me. A tortured soul! Obviously, another thing you notice is a ring. Like it, it looks, it's obviously, again, on the, the same ring that Dark wore in a heist. Well, I wish that I bought, like, another, like, a different kind of a ring to wear for this. But this is the only one I have right now. So I'll just go with this for now, and I'll change it the next time I bring them back, if I ever do. So, also, the with the ring here... I actually had to put like, you know, toy like, you know, tissues, like pieces of tissue inside the ring to um make the ring, you know, s stay on perfectly. Like it is around my size, but it kind of like is slightly loose and then the ring just likes to move around, so it doesn't that really help. I don't know, but I just want the ring to actually stay in position and not, you know, do this all the time, like this. It will start moving around like that. So I didn't want to risk that, so I just, you know, put a lot of, you know, tissue, a lot of pieces of tissue in there to make it stay put. So, <laughs> gotta do, gotta do what you gotta do in order to make things work. Could I didn't even think of that for the Dark Apart cosplay last year. Button. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, I couldn't wear it on my pinky finger because it doesn't even fit. I don't even know if it's even gonna fit on my pinky finger, even if I tried to, you know, put, you know, tissues in there, pieces of tissue in there. I don't know. Another thing too is like I wasn't sure if I'm not sure how people are gonna react to this outfit. Are they gonna be pissed, which is probably most likely what they're gonna be, and stuff like that, or are they gonna be accepting of it? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people love, you know, the, you know, black and white flannel as his iconic look. But, so I try to compensate by, you know, trying to keep that in some way. So I just grabbed, you know, some, my grandmother helped me out with this. Where I, she cut out this piece of this, you know, checkered, black and white checkered, you know, thing. I think it's like, um, kind of like the same fabric as like a handkerchief or rough like a curtain or whatever she cut a piece out for me and I just put it in my pocket and I put the top of it underneath my belt so it could look like it when like it was you know part it that it's a part of my pants so I wanted to pay tribute in some way to his original outfit I'm always just like always doubting myself is that a bad thing to doubt yourself I always doubt myself whenever I do these videos, these kinds of videos. I doubt myself, like, will it work? Will it come out nice? Will it come out good? Will people like this? Or will people get shit on it? Say that I stole their work, etc. Like, am I going to deal with all that? I don't know, man. Xander has returned from the ashes. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just having a little fun here. Who does this remind you of?
emo Peter Parker. That's who. It has been a while. You may... I can't understand how I do not know all the dialogue. No matter how many times I, you know, read it, <laughs> somehow my mind goes Ugh! blank immediately when I'm, you know, put put the pressure here. Shit. Shit! <laughs> it has been a while. You must have forgotten. Or maybe you're just too afraid to remember. All right, this is me testing things out here. Make sure everything looks nice, you know? I don't know how the first part's gonna turn out, like me sitting, with all the scenes of me sitting down, I don't know how that's gonna work. But, um, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. We will find out, I guess. I will see. I will see how this one. Let's see how far down this rabbit hole really goes. So take your pick. Show me what you got. And maybe we'll have a good date after all. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? You're getting a little flustered, sweetheart. Maybe you just missed my pretty face. It doesn't matter. You don't know who I really am.
I am a demon that will lead you into a... I am really horrible at this shit. You know that? <laughs> My parents are like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying to do a thing. Forgive me. Come on. Just do one more take of I am the creature of the night. I am a demon that will lead you into eternal damnation. I am the creature of the night, and I am a demon that will lead you into eternal damnation. Alright, enough. <coughs> My throat is fucking killing me. <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ, the shit I do for you guys, I swear to you. That's really it on this clusterfuck of a video. The pumpkin carving, which didn't go so smoothly because of, you know, I was not prepared to endure the, you know, trouble with the, you know, with the pumpkin because it was a pain in the ass to actually carve, you know, so I I didn't expect that. And also just, you know, what, like the, the, the wind? The ice cream truck, and then, you know, the dog next door just didn't help either. I was really annoyed that day. I was really mad. So, like, it was just a rough day for me. Rough day at the office. Now, this one, I think, was a lot more simple, but um, until we get to the final product, hopefully I can, you know, make this look good, you know. So, um... Hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes stuff, you know. Hopefully uh, this comes out very well. And I don't know if this footage is ever going to even come out. <laughs> the behind the scenes footage. Because the behind the scenes footage of, you know, last year's pumpkin carving didn't even come out yet. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll figure something out, I think. I'll, I think I'll figure something out. Hey Isabel, what do you think of my outfit? Oh, you like it? You really like it? I'm glad you I'm glad you like my outfit, Isabel. It looks scary, right? Will it scare people? Yeah, I can agree. Yeah, it could be terrifying. It could be, it look scary with the eyeliner and, you know, or, no, 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 not the eyeliner, my war mask, you know. <laughs> Cut that fucking shit out. I don't wear makeup, man. This is my war mask. <laughs> I get that from The Undertaker because he said that in his uh, last ride documentary where um, <laughs> he asked one of the WWE, you know, uh, camera crew guys, for um, makeup remover, he just didn't want to say it, and he just kind of felt embarrassed by saying it. And he's like, he's like, I'm glad you said it, but not me. <laughs> Fucking cut that shit out. I don't wear makeup, man. This is my war mask. <laughs> so I just found that pretty funny. I'm like, I'm using that from now on. <laughs> so yeah, Isabel, yes, I have to wear my war mask to make it look scary. So, I'm glad you enjoy it. Hopefully this video will come out well. Will it come out well? Oh, you have confidence? You have faith in me? Very appreciated, Isabel. <laughs> okay. But, um... Anyways... I think that's really it on this whole pumpkin carving video here. The behind the scenes or whatever, if you're ever going to see this, so... Hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, this is a wrap on production of the Xander segment, so that's a wrap. <laughs>